Charisse Bianca's possession of the miraculous butterfly makes a historic moment in her journey, transforming her into a strong force in the miraculous universe. This transition not only shows her status, but also underlines her determination to pursue her revenge towards Marinette with greater intensity. Charisse is a master manipulator, skilled in the art of deception and driven by an insatiable desire for attention and revenge. Her lies have often brought chaos and mayhem into the lives of those around her, especially Marinette Dupin Chang and Adrian Agreste, who are our beloved heroes Ladybug and Cat Noir. And in this video, we'll be talking about the possible candidates for akumatization. If you're ready, let's go! Adrian Adrian Agreste, known as Cat Noir, is a beloved hero in Paris who fights alongside Ladybug to protect the city from akumatized villains. But he is unaware of a very important secret, the true identity of the monarch, the villain he has been fighting for five seasons. Marinette, who is Ladybug and Adrian's girlfriend, has kept the secret from him to fulfill the wishes of Gabriel Agreste, Adrian's father and former monarch. However, there's someone else who knows the identity of Gabriel. It's Charisse. In the episode Emotions, after Charisse helped Gabriel to manipulate Kagami into causing trouble between Marinette and Adrian, she was misbehaved by Gabriel. Angered by Gabriel's behavior, Charisse reveals her true identity and started to prepare a plan. Aware of the potential power of Quagatama, Charisse might organize a scenario in which Nuru, a Kwame, creates a Quagatama for Adrian. Through this magic jewel, Charisse arranges a meeting between Adrian and Gabriel and prepares the ground for the revelation by bringing them face to face. That means Charisse will fuel Adrian's curiosity and longing for answers about his mother Emily, eagerly feeding his desire to understand his past and his family. After an instant shock, it will be child's play for Charisse to akumatize Adrian. In the episode Revelation, Charisse steals private information from Gabriel's lair, learning of his chaotic past and the tragic fate of Adrian's mother, Emily. So instead of creating such a long plan, which is the Quagatama plan, she could instead show the proof she has on her phone. We have one more scenario. Determined to uncover the truth about Emily's death, Charisse might steal the Peacock Miraculous from Felix. After forcing Dusu to create a Quagatama just like she would do to Nuru, she will be capable of making Adrian communicate with Emily's spirit. Through this interaction, Charisse will succeed in uncovering the secrets of Emily's sacrifice and Gabriel's true identity. In each scenario, Charisse strategically manipulates events and emotions to push Adrian into akumatization. Let's see how it's going to proceed. Dusu, dual metamorphosis. All I ask in return are Ladybug's miraculous and yours. No, you can't ask me to do that. Natalie. Natalie has a history of using Miraculous, using the Miraculous of the Peacock as Mayura and the Miraculous of the Goat as Safari. Her familiarity with the power of Miraculous and willingness to use them for her goals makes her a prime candidate for manipulation and akumatization. Aside from the Miraculouses, Natalie has shown proficiency in unarmed combat, as seen in her encounter with the akumatized villains in episode Felix. Her ability to hold her own in a physical altercation emphasizes her combat power and makes her a strong opponent in battle. Her experience as a treasure hunter and proven ability to evade detection and overcome obstacles with stealth make her an unstoppable figure, and her mindset shouldn't be forgotten. Natalie's insight and strategic thinking are valuable assets in developing plans and tactics in the battle. When akumatized, she can use her keen intellect to analyze her opponent's weaknesses, anticipate their movements, and formulate strategies to defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir. Under my control, Octagon followed each of the Miraculous holders. Ladybug sometimes trusts them with the Miraculous. She never shows her face, always takes back the Miraculous, and makes sure no one ever follows her. Felix Felix has several qualities and experiences that make him a suitable candidate to be akumatized by Charisse. First, Felix has previously wielded miraculous powers as Flarmidable and Argos. His familiarity with miraculous abilities and combat techniques would make him an experienced side in the battle when akumatized, just like Natalie. He was one of the first individuals to suspect Gabriel Agreste's true identity as Shadow Moth. His knowledge of Gabriel's secrets and connections to the Agreste family shows his intelligence in a clear way. 
While a part of his mindset is a powerful asset to be used, he also has some weak points which could leave him in a situation to be a victim of an Akuma. Felix's complex personality, characterized by his past traumas, conflicting emotions, and desire for freedom shouldn't be ignored. His inner struggles and psychological weaknesses, more likely fears, can be exploited by Charisse, leading to a dramatic transformation into a powerful and unpredictable akumatized villain. As a member of the French Miraculous Superhero Team, Felix actively works to combat akumatized villains and protect Paris. However, his identity is not a secret anymore, which makes him a future target for Charisse. Charisse might steal the twin ring from Felix in exchange for the Peacock Miraculous, or Charisse might try to control Felix with the ring she stole, and could add more to it by akumatizing him and giving superpowers. Luca Luca's time with the Guardian Su Han and the Order of the Guardians probably led him to a better understanding of advanced combat techniques, strategic thinking, and the responsibilities that come with wielding his miraculous weapon, the Snake Miraculous. Luca's discovery of Marinette's secret identity as Ladybug adds a horrific potential for Marinette. As someone entrusted with this information, Luca may feel conflicted about keeping such an important secret from his friends and allies, of course unintentionally. He managed to keep up with the weight of this burden in Season 5, by leaving Paris until Monarch was defeated. However, no one in Paris knows who is the next holder of the Butterfly Miraculous. Silencer. I am Monarch. No, I'll never tell you! Never! <laughs> So clean. So clean is a big fan of Ladybug and Cat Noir, and is keen to help them in any way she can. Although she doesn't have superpowers like them, she is brave and determined to do whatever she can to support them, because she has a strong sense of justice and is not afraid to stand up for what is right. She has shown this by protecting Marinette from people like Chloe Bourgeois, even if it puts her in danger. Moreover, Soclean is skilled in martial arts, especially Taekwondo, which means that she is skilled in fighting, and her gymnastics background also gives her agility and flexibility, making her a multifunctional candidate for being a superhero. Soclean could ask Ladybug for a miraculous in order to be able to join the superhero team. However, if Ladybug denies her request due to the lack of miraculous available, Soclean may feel rejected and betrayed, or she might feel like she's not being given enough credit that she deserves, which could lead to feelings of anger or sadness that Charisse could use to akumatize her. Thanks for helping us. <clears throat> we couldn't have done it without you. Found it! Nothing? No. Okay, guys, these were all the heroes we expect to see as akumatized villains in Miraculous Ladybug. What do you think about that? And which characters do you expect to see akumatized? Let us know in the comments. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with the new videos and like the video. See you!